DSS main to survive in the winner's bracket. Uh, <laughs> being Juice, man, rocking the crown, looking like Jughead from the Archie comics. But <laughs> he, this is definitely someone whose stock is on the rise. Both these guys, man. Definitely, man. Talk, about, talk about stocks. That's yeah. what to say about that. So Venia, you know, already kind of being uh, warmed up. Going up against Zero Suit Sam is going to have to fight against Juice. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and obviously, you know, Venya showing he knows a thing or two about this matchup. Able to take, if you saw the way he took the set against Nairo, he, shadow, he used Shadow Sneak to weave between the hits of the forward smash, so he definitely knows something about this matchup. Venya always playing at weeklies. Uh-oh, hold on, hold on. Okay, Ooh. there you go. Shadow Sneak again. Such yeah. a good uh, avoidance option from Venya. Yeah. Oh, good job with the drag down up there, but not able to get a footstool follow-up. Probably what Venya was looking for there. Venya's not one to really go for the footstool combos, but the down smash, that'll work just as well, Hazmat. Yeah, we'll take it, man. I mean, having a lead two against Zero Suit Samus does not mean that much. I was just going to say that. Juice tying it up in terms of stocks. Very nice stuff. Eight percentage, too, actually. Very great response from the young Zero Suit main. Taking, you know what? He's using the he's using the black Zero Suit color, too. Saying, you know what? I'm going to get a power up from Nairo. Yeah, to my knowledge, I'm pretty sure Juice is actually a pretty big Nairo fan. So that's how he uh, plays Zero Suit Samus. Aren't most Zero Suit fans? I mean, I'm a fan of Nairo, and I don't play Zero Suit. So I got to imagine if you play Nairo, or you play Zero Suit, you got to be a fan of Nairo. Or not. I hope Whatever. so. Whatever. Yeah, I hope so too, man. It's a good choice. But here we go. Stringing together some fares. Looking for a third one too. Cannot find it. Venya trying to find his way up the ledge. And nice little pivot grab right there. Getting it up there too. Yeah, man. This is definitely not a matchup that Venya scoffs at. He does have Bankai at his disposal here in the region. So definitely a character you want to be familiar with the Zero Suit. Just your DI patterns and how you're fighting against this character. It's so very different. You see Venya just kind of lurking there. Yeah, it's such a gut check in that situation. Like, not only is it matchup uh, experience and knowledge. Oh, there's the up smash. That's going to do Ooh. it. Nice. Venya taking game one, putting himself on the board. Wow, dude, Venya, he showed up today. Yeah, man. Venya has always had a very yeah. interesting journey in Smash so far. When I first met him, uh, you know, he's, he's still rocking the wife beaters uh, when he's not having <laughs> to dress up nicely. But he was using a pro controller before. He has one on underneath that shirt, actually. Oh, I'm sure he I've does. Seen, I've seen Come on, man. Too. Come on. Let's yeah. <laughs> Venya has a closet filled with black wife beaters, I'm pretty sure. <laughs> <laughs> Nothing wrong with that. <laughs> Which one do I want to wear today? But he's definitely come a long way uh, throughout his journey, you know, having to switch to a game two controller just so he's, you know, stuff works when he goes places. What did he play before? He played with a uh, pro controller. Okay. He now right. uses a game two controller. Sorry. So. Watching the offense right here from Venya. 41%, not even 10 seconds on the clock. Here comes Juso answering back. This is Town and City and Zero Suit Samus, so you got to be really careful. Until her stock's gone, you can't breathe easy, Koopa. Yeah, it's weird. It's uh, like I said, this matchup was very unfamiliar, but I feel like Greninja definitely has a good kit to combat Jersey Samus. Mostly because uh, he can challenge her air-to-air -air just because of how high he jumps, mm -hmm. and his hitboxes are relatively pretty quick. And also his punish game is very, very strong, especially with how uh, you know powerful he is himself. Oh. That was so smooth! Dude, he's so amazing. I love watching Venya play. I watch weeklies just for him, especially when he's on. There's a rising up air that's going to take it. Venya off to an amazing lead, but like we said earlier, don't count at Zero Suit on Town and City, especially when the platforms come into play. Nice avoidance by Venya, but he's been shadow sneaking out of so much stuff and air dodging, but can he get out of this one? No, he can't. That's oh. Koopa. Koopa, what am I saying? He went to the ledge. What did he miss, man? Why would you go to the ledge there? Just hit the stage. Anyway, he did it. Who cares? Who cares? Yep. Slight 1% lead here for Venia, but again, both guys just kind of skirting around. Good use of that cross up back air. I know Venia really likes to use that as an approach and as a combo starter. Mm -hmm. Just because if you get like the, the drag down for that move, it really uh, helps set up in other combo things. Definitely. I like Venia's grab game has been amazing, but here comes Juice with the grab of his own into the back air. Very nice, but here comes Venia again. Good spot dodge. Oh, dude, and like you said, the thing about Zero Suit, she whips grabs, there's a lot of time to set up a punish, and a character that, you know, with a technical player like Venya, Greninja's punish game is just outstanding. Ooh, falling out of the last head of the upper, though, that would result in probably another, you know, juggle situation. And Juice having a hard time landing right now. And Venya's Ven just pushing all these buttons around him. Yeah, the forward air, the spacing on it. It's been amazing! What a call out, though, for Venya. Dude, he reached all the way back there with that back air, punishing the flip kick. Very nice stuff. Venya going up 2-0. What am I saying? I was talking to Ben here. Hold on, let's look at this again. Watch the way he weaves around it. Yeah, I love it. He's looking for the down tilt, too. He's so good with those. Convert it right into the up smash, but yeah, here man. he sets up, just oh. punishes him right there. Looked like Juice kind of you know, didn't go to the ledge or anything, so he's just vulnerable. Venya identifying that situation and taking the stock and taking the game. Yeah, one thing that's very common with Venya is that he preaches about being able to move without being sitting in your shield for too long. You, he's, he's moving, his movement isn't very stagnant. Like, he's always moving around trying to keep you guessing on what he's doing. Never sits in shield that often, so it's very huge, especially in those, uh, you know, 50-50 neutral situations. You see the call out with a double jump right there <laughs> and a shadow sneak? Oh my goodness, 47% so fast. Very nice stuff from Venya. Yeah, speaking of his movement, man, I mean, he is cooking up right now. 
serving up Juice. Let's see what he can find. Nice spacing by Juice, though. Punishing that aerial approach, getting a down smash. So you can find now, too, another up smash. Very nice. Dude, Venya's playing lights out right now. This is amazing. Oh, again, Ooh. he gets the, the footstool combo, but uh, good job teching the downer from Juice. And again, converting that into a paralyzer. Oh, he said, no, thank you. He said, get that out of my face. Shadow sneaking right in there around the down smash. Now, let's see. It's going to be a big exchange right here, Koopa. Using that priority, man. <laughs> <laughs> Come on, man. <laughs> Why'd you say that? Anyway. Venya almost got... Uh, screwed himself right there because if you use neutral or without laying on the stage, you're in so much like weird like lag after you use it without hitting the ground. I love Venya's pressure at the ledge too. So smart. Oh, I was thinking I was thinking up smash right there, Koopa, but it, you know Venya going for something else, unable to find the stock. Juice zoning out nice, I like it. He's playing more patiently than he did the first two games. So closer in this first stock, but the first stock dictates so much. That's gonna be an up throw. And that'll do it. Very nice stuff. Venya, knowing his percentages, knowing his rage, knowing how light Zero Suit is, and knowing that that was going to KO, puts him in a nice little lead. But Koopa, he's had a last game. Let's see, let's see if Juice can uh -oh. do it again. Oh, wh where'd he go? Oh, uh, okay, that was smart. He did, I think he did the backwards one or something like that. See, Whatever he angle, did, it was cool. His hydro pump <laughs> angles are incredible, dude. That's the thing. Like, a lot of characters like to cut off Greninja when he's on his way back to the stage. You know, pretty, pretty vulnerable when he's trying to hydro pump. But the crazy angles that Venya comes up with, Nuts, man. I would love to see the IVs on this man's green edge ass, man. <laughs> that speed, <been> speed. <laughs> the boost kick, again, just going to fall right out of it. Good awareness there from Venia. Good awareness, too, from Juice getting it up tilt, popping Venia back up, and then KOing with that up air. Very nice stuff. Again, Juice, he only took 25%. He's got to be feeling pretty okay about this situation right now. Ooh, again, good uh, catch. Sharking onto the platform with that up air from Venia. Again, just kind of keeping himself in the right position, but not sitting in shield, not giving himself an opportunity to get it grabbed by Zero Suit Samus. That's right, man. You definitely don't want to get grabbed by that Zero Suit. It's set up into KO option. Juice looking for the dash attack and can't find it. Both these guys feeling each other out. Like you said, look at Venya's movement. Look at the little movements he's doing. His dash dancing is so smooth, so nice. It's going to be a punish grab. Drag down. <gasps> if he down tilted the other way, he could have continued that. That was very nice, but he down tilted. That's the second time he's down tilted the, the wrong way. Yeah, turnaround tilts are so hard. Yeah. <laughs> it's tough, man. It's tough. This character, he's so much potential, but he's so difficult to play. But here we go. Footstool. Ooh. Oh, tries to tech chase. Can't find him, though. Love the attempt, though. Again, Juice has to be really careful. If he, go, if he whips the grab here, it could result in a huge punish and potentially death. Gets the Shadow Sneak again. Gonna send him into the Blast Zone. Venya, again, just gonna charge that Water Shuriken. Give himself a chance. That was good DI by Venya right there. Not going onto the platform, because getting pinned uh -oh. on the platform can result in this. Is the Shadow Sneak out, though? It's not gonna work. He just keeps doing it, Koopa. I'm not, I'm, listen, man, if it ain't broke, <laughs> fix it, please. <laughs> Wait, if it is broke, I uh, got to go. <gasps> oh, the Zare, not going to be enough just yet, though. Here we go, Venya trying to fight his way up the ledge. Very nice. I love that, using the high jump going right to center stage. So smart, man. A lot of players might panic right there, but not Venya. <gasps> oh, what? Oh, okay, the okay. The cool it <laughs> Here we go. Venya looking for some jabs, retaliation jabs. They've actually had this scenario a couple times. Yeah, you see Juice opting to sit in shield a lot more now. That could potentially be huge here as we move to the later stages of this game. Ooh, it's just going to miss the second hit of that up tilt. Venya looking for a lot of aerial KO options. Both these players are going to nair from Zero Suit Samus and back air. Let's see what they both can find. They're both hugging that center stage, though, not wanting to get KO'd from a straight hit like that. That's why you stage position right there. He took that back air and he didn't die. Uh -oh. oh, that's it. Up smash, okay. It's just so okay, weird because why Why does her holding the whip like that power it up? It doesn't make any sense, Koopa. I don't get, can you explain the physics behind that to me? Well, Hazmat, well, break it down. The way that my bank account set up. Mm -hmm. um, I'm in yeah. the Can we got. get Bill Nye to explain the physics behind like plasma whip? What does she do? How does it make it more powerful? Can uh, you explain maybe, this to me? She probably like, she just a, like, she probably, like holds a button or something. Is it like a like, Wiimote? Like you shake it or something <laughs> and it just like gets, I don't know. <laughs> she's I'm trying to guess, dude. She's playing Shake to Smash. By the way, giving you a quick off stream update uh, Kool Aid just beat Utopia and Ray. So. Let's go, Kool Aid. He's playing so super well today. We'll talk about him later. But yeah. into game four here. Juice trying to tie it up, tie up the set in terms of games. Venya, though, running it back to town and city. Yeah, I don't think the stage really like uh, harmed him because he's been shown he's he's shown he's been able to get out of the boost kick like pretty yeah. easily, uh, you know, with that side beat. So I don't think he's really scared, and I feel like both these characters benefit from the same stuff. So not only that, but it gives Greninja some like mo uh, some options to combo and KO potentially early himself as right. well, and not deal with the rage zero suit, which is nice. <laughs> How do you approach a woman who's angry? I don't know, man. Benny's trying to find out right now. With flowers, maybe? Uh, that could work. That could work, man. He's not a grass type, you know. I don't know if he has that. <laughs> but he can. He's got that ability. Protean? You know? Oh, true. So maybe he can change to a grass type. But anyway, Venya, I love the spacing. Nice pressure with the shuriken, too. Let's see what he can find here. 
Yeah, yeah. see, Benny opted to use a lot more Uncharged Shuriken to set. Oh, uh, oh, but he go? What happened? It looked like he might have just lost the jump. Let's go check the floor. I don't know. Look, look around for that stuff. I can't find it. But here we go. Down smash Nair. Nice. Good interruption right oh there. Look at that God. combo, too. 42 right there with the follow-up up there. Very nice by Venya. I feel like his hits aren't linking together perfectly, too. Oh, what? He gave him the best friend DI. You know, yeah. right, right there. <laughs> the he gave it to him, man. He's like, here you go. You know so, what? Yeah, you know, yeah, I I'll got help you. you out. I'll help you out. Okay, good roll behind right there. That's a pretty uh, good strategy against Sirius from Samus because she doesn't have a really great option to cover behind her. You want to hear an observation? Sure. Two characters have uh, very similar four tilts. That's, yeah. what I, that's what I got, man. They got legs, man. Legs for days. Legs for days. Frog and uh, zero soup, you know? Frog legs are high in protein or something. Here we go. Up air. And that might be it. No. That's what I'm saying, man, with the rage and up air and jump. His high jump, too, is so good. He yeah, he's got towards like, the blast zone. It's so yeah. good. Yeah, third highest jump in the game against the highest jump in the game. Like, like that, man. That's what I mean. He's able to fight air to air probably the best out of any of the characters in the cast. I like that power shield right there from Juice, showing that he's catching on to some of Venya's habits, but it might just be too little too late. Here comes a shuriken. Venya getting a little aggressive with his edge options right here. I like it because he's got the stock lead, Koopa. Yeah, I feel like Venya is... Oh, oh, he's just doing it. He's just wow. doing a lot of... He's sneaking around in the shadows, man. Yeah, that but... was definitely a heat check shadow sneak, if, <laughs> if I've never seen it. That's like a Bayo when yeah. they, you know, they witch time and then just witch time again. Yeah. You know what I mean? Just keep going for the same option. Eventually, it'll work, hold on, court. hold on, hold on. Okay. I'm scared still, dude. You never know. Venya knows, I'm sure. I think still, like, if you catch Greninja in the late part of that, hold on. Okay, no, he's able to get back. Good drift. Yeah, I like that. Good use of the Hydro Pump, too. Kind of just throw your opponent off, make them fear where they're going to go, and make them, you know, choose kind of a safe option. Go right back to the stage. You can punish them. So Venya throwing some tricky knuckleballs, I would say, at Juice. The forward air, not enough, almost. Yeah, he's been using that forward air pretty religiously, so I'm not surprised to see that not kill right there. Good back air right there. Again, Juice in a world of hurt right now, but ooh, if ooh. it is a place card is right, if he gets grabbed at the right spot in the stage, it could result in death for him. Oh, that's it. There nice. Wow. Dude, I got to say, Venya's grabs that game were absolutely astounding. Oh, they, no, absolutely. He got two KOs off of grabs, and not only that, but he was spacing so well around them. And you got to respect his fair, his down tilt, and then Venya made his grab look incredible <laughs> in that set, which is, what's up? He's, he's just right behind him. He's like, <laughs> gotcha. <laughs>